This is a Boogaboo Donkey 3, and today we're just going to go over all of the basic functions on the stroller that you're going to encounter as you use this model. So, starting up at the handle, you have this little clip here, and this is for extending and contracting the handle. And there are like little hacks on the under underside of these arms, and this clip is going to push uh, something into those grooves in order so that you can affix it at different heights. Yeah? In the center of the handle is this clip here. This has to do with the horizontal expansion and contraction. Uh, we're not gonna do that in this video, but it is in our folding guide for this model. So if you need to see how to take it from the mono version to the twin version and vice versa, just check out that video. Below here is the folding triggers themselves. Uh, there is a black safety button in the center and then there's the trigger. And that's just going to activate the fold. Uh, how to fold is also in the folding guide. All right, moving on then to the seat. I'm gonna start with the canopy. So, on one side of the canopy is a zipper. And if you pull it all the way around, this allows you to then extend out the canopy. This, by the way, is a very common thing on strollers these days. Boogaboo did do it first. So, you can open it up like this. Here in the center, uh, this is a newer thing for Boogaboo strollers. There is a flap, and if you pull it all the way over the front, you can get some extra ventilation or a peekaboo window for your baby. Um, I like that they put the logo here on the other side as well. Kind of nifty. Okay, looking at the seat unit itself then. In order to reverse the seat unit, there are two buttons on either side of the seat frame. These are memory buttons, which means you do not have to press them simultaneously. You can push one and then the other. Then you can grab a hold of the bumper bar as a handle and pull off the entire seat frame. Flip it around. Find it such that these feet line up with the struts and just click it back into place. When it comes to the bumper bar, there is a white button here on the inside. If you're going to take your child out or put them in, you only have to press one and then it rotates to the side. Yeah? You can of course press the other one if you want to fully remove the bumper bar. Looking at the harness, press the button in the middle that will release all four of these clips. Uh, you can adjust all of these straps to grow with your child. So, the one on the bottom here just has this basic mechanism, just like you find on backpacks, for extending that strap. Same on the side buckles. When it comes to the shoulder harness, you have two means of extending this. So you have also that same uh, mechanism for making the strap just longer. But you can also pull these shoulder straps up along this track here. So as your child gets older, uh, it'll still go over their shoulders in a comfortable manner. Okay, when you have this in the mono version, you have this uh, nice side basket. So in order to remove this, it's just a matter actually of holding the stroller and pulling it up, and it'll just pop off. As far as the Donkey 3 is concerned, one kind of cool feature they put here, it used to just be on special editions, is this zipper. So if you want to like fill it up with a lot of stuff and you want to keep it tight, you can pull up this flap here, this extra textile bit, and that'll allow you to zip over whatever you have put into your side basket. In order to adjust the recline of the seat, there is a lever here on the back, and that allows you to go to various positions. When you have the seat forward facing, you can't really get a full recline. That's as far reclined as it will go. However, you can get that full recline when the seat is in the reverse facing. In the reverse facing, you can go all the way flat. There is a further position downwards, obviously not for use with your child, but you can get it like this in order to fold down into the one piece self-standing fold. Okay then, looking at the rear frame, you have your brake lever here, just press down in order to lock the brakes, up to take them off. If you would like to remove the rear wheels, the button for doing so is located right here, this white button here. Press in and it allows you to pull off the rear wheels. Looking at the front frame then, in order to lock the front wheels, you're gonna press down on this little lever here and they can lock either backwards which is uh, the ideal position if you want them locked because of rough terrain. But they can also lock front facing, which is necessary if you're gonna use the one piece fold. In order to remove the front wheels, 
the button for doing this is located behind the frontal housing, this white button here. You can just press in, and that allows you to pull out the front wheels. So in any case, that covers all of the basic functions for this model. There's of course a lot more that you can do with this model, and we have made a number of videos then uh, that you can look at. So in our folding guide, we show you how to expand and contract this model in order to get the twin seat on, and we also deal with all of the folding related stuff, how to get it as small as possible, how to use the one piece fold, uh, how to remove elements and so on. We also have a textile guide which shows you how to take off all of the textiles for the seat or the bassinet and how to mount them. Um, if you're looking at initial assembly, you can tech check out our unboxing of this model. And uh, we also have a review of this model as well. But in any case, this was just our basic functions video and we hope that it was useful to you. If it was, we ask that you subscribe as it helps to continue making videos in the future. Thank you.